do you want me to tell your mother? I said, I want you to tell my mother the truth. He went, sat me and my mother down. He said, well, he said, Ms. Stax, I'm proud to tell you your daughter is a virgin. I told y'all y'all wasn't ready. I told <laughs> and, um, and I looked at him. And he said, this is, you know, from the point. And I looked at her, and she said, my mother's just like, trying not to cry. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I went into the bathroom and fell to my knees and said, I don't know what you've done. But as my miracle God, y'all not ready, God. I told you wasn't, and I proved it. He can literally, all things can truly be passed away. Y'all sisters need to help me today. Y'all need to help me. And all things really can become new. He said, no, here's Paul helping the single women. And what did he say? What did he say in the word? Yes. Have you without carefulness? Said, I want you without carefulness. Yes. He that is unmarried. He that is unmarried. Careth for the things that belong to the Lord. for the things that belong to the Lord. Yes, God. How he may please the Lord. How he may please the Lord. Yes. But he that is married. But he that is married. Careth for the things that are of the world. It's our time. When you are single. This. Don't let the enemy tell you this is the loneliest time of your life. Don't right. let him tell you that. Right. This is the most critical time Amen. because you have an opportunity to give your whole heart to God and let him make and create something without limits. Paul called it a gift. Paul said, I would that every man had the gift to be singled. When God, I ain't talking about you tippers and slippers, but when God can keep you in spite of a lustful, perverted world, don't you let that devil tell you you lonely. Tell him he's mad that I got a gift. Sisters, clap those hands and praise him right there. Let that devil know you just mad I ain't gave up my gift. Oh, come on, sisters. Come on, sisters, and give the Lord some praise. It takes a gift. It's a gift to be kept today. Because there's plenty of opportunities. And that's why you can't act like they're not out there. You have to deal with life the way it is. And when the devil comes to your man and remind you about all the people you could go to, tell him you're right, but it ain't worth losing my gift. again this is your time to go after God without limits it is limitless where he wants to take you how he wants to use you it's your time to let him deal with you you want God to deal with your pain while you sing you want God to deal with your abuse while you're single. Deal with my history now because I ain't planning on dealing with it no more. So I'm giving it to you. Now take me to my future. Oh, sisters, clap those hands. Let's get ready. Oh, hallelujah. It's your time. It's your time to pour out your heart. 
It's your time to tell them how you really feel. It's your time to let the windows of heaven open up and you see everything. <laughs> you see anything. You see any possibility. You see every possibility. There are no withholds. If I didn't get my GED, I'm going to get it now. If I didn't get my degree, I'm going after it now. If I didn't start my business, I'm going to start it now. It's all about me. Oh, single sisters, you better put your pride on. right now this ain't arrogant it ain't pompous it ain't heady it ain't you know she trying to be too much you're right i'm trying to be everything that god have asked me to be if god told me he was my comforter he promised me i would be the head and not the tail this is the time to be the ceo of that company it's right now it's right now it's right now he said as a single woman, you're giving yourself to the things of God. I have no apologies. And the women, single women of our church will tell you, Esther, where Esther? Where Esther? Where? Uh, raise your hand, Esther, in the back. So that, who does my tapes? She's single. I have no apology for working her morning, noon, and night. I, have no, I don't abuse it. I don't, don't get me wrong. I don't abuse it. I have none. You know why? God told you to. You're operating in your gift. Evangelist Watkins, some of y'all know her, some of y'all don't. I have no apologies. Hey, Evangelist, what you doing? Well, actually, good. Listen, can you go and see about my mama? I have no apologies. Uh, I was in the middle. Great, when you're done, can you go and pick up my babies? I, I have no You know why? Because she's operating in her gift. And the Bible tells them to do this, that they don't get idle. You don't get idle. Hey, Evangelist, what you doing? No, another young woman. She's, uh, okay, let me deal with that. However you're single, whether it was because of divorce, whether it's because you're a widow, whatever, I'm single and God, what I missed before is me and you right now. Consider the divorce. History is you and me now. And what I didn't get before, help me get it now. Another young woman in our church, She's unfortunately, she's divorced. We cry. She would love to be married again. However, she is single. <laughs> hey, Mr. Zebek, God bless you. How you doing? Oh, good, good, good. Great. Listen, I need you to go with me to San Francisco to the California Women's Prison. We got to do a, uh, 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 yes, ma'am, what day? Oh, I'll just let you know. Make sure you get it off. Hey, Mr. Zebek, what you doing? Good. Next Saturday, can you go to the juvenile prison? Great. Thank you so much. Hey, yeah, a so -so's in the hospital. Can you go take him a basket on behalf of Pastor? I appreciate you so much. I wear him out. I wear him out. I have no shame. Brother Greg laughing because he's looking like you do the young men the same way. Hey, Brother Greg, what you doing? Uh, well, I was in the middle. Great. Can you come wash my husband's truck? Hey, Brother Greg, what you doing? Oh, well, I was on my way. Great. Make a U-turn. I need you to go to the store for No because they're single. And the Bible said to give yourself to the thing of the Lord. Natalie Norn, and y'all don't know all my business. My members gonna talk about me, but they used to their mama putting them on the spot. Nat Natalie Norn, she's over the, the prayer work. Hey, sister Natalie, how you doing? Oh, Pastor, great. Yeah, so and so couldn't make it. I need you to start the prayer tonight. Great, good. Okay. Hey, sister Natalie, what you doing? Great. The choir needs to go to Oakland. Make sure they get there. Hey, sister Natalie, what you doing? Great. Yeah, the kids was gonna have a car wash. Could you be over it? I have no do I minister Gina. She's another one. Hey, Minister Gina, we get ready for this conference. Hey, Minister Gina, great. Can you email the hotel? Great. Yeah, I know you're at work right now. What time you get off? Great. Meet me down there because I need you to meet. Oh, guess what? I'm not going to make it at all. You have to do it by yourself. And when you leave there, can you go over to the Red Lion Hotel? I have no chance. Hey, Minister Gina, just let you know that I blind copied you in on that meeting I needed to go to that I'm not going to make and sorry I made. Thank you for going for me. Bless you. I have no shame because the Bible said that when you're single you give yourself to the things of the Lord the Bible said so that you don't become busybodies. 
going from house to house. Y'all know we do it. Who got the chicken dinner tonight? You got the chicken. All right, girl, I'll meet you at Friday's. All right, girl. Yeah, and you, you know what? That was a trip when they, you talking about a whole lot of stuff that ain't none of your business. But you got to idle. I know y'all quiet now. You know where I could go. Why don't you push me to go there? See, see, because see, it's another thing. Oh, you ain't pushing me out. Keep preaching. God bless you.